So, how did the trip go? It was not an uneventful trip. Overall, it was pretty good. We left at, oh, it was like before five o'clock in the morning to drive sort of about an hour and 15 minutes from Kumar to Canberra. On the way to the airport, we hit a wombat and I'm really surprised that didn't turn out worse than what it did because it was on the highway so I was going 100 k's an hour and it was raining so it was a bit wet. Yeah, if anyone's ever hit a wombat, that's the kind of thing that will flip a car, but yeah, we were okay. And <laughs> we have a stuck in on it. We got to Canberra Airport and there was a bit of uh, a mix up with visas and stuff, and so we were told that the airline would fly us to Bangkok, but if we were refused entry into the country, we would have to just turn around, come back, and we would be responsible for paying for the airfares. There was no refunds available. And I was like, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to be okay because technically, um, Thailand's a country that you can enter into for a holiday without a visa. So I thought, I'm pretty sure we will be okay and we can just sort out the visas when we get here which is what happened and that was fine. Ben and Rachel have been on an aeroplane before, but they were too young to remember it. So really it felt like the first time for everyone. Flight. This is my first day in Sydney. I've never been here before. Then we rushed around the airport at um, Sydney to get to our connecting flight. There was a bit of confusion and a bit of a schmozzle with the buses and getting a transfer from domestic to uh, international. So. <laughs> We're not as on time as we would like to be. My husband's a little bit stressed, but I'm sure we're gonna make it fine. So we're on a bus right now. Rachel is getting rained on through the door, but <laughs> the flight from Canberra to um, Sydney went fantastically. No one got sick. No one had really sore ears or anything like that. So really happy about that. We went above the clouds. Yeah, it was so cool, wasn't it? We even got to go through a cloud. We lost Jessica at one point in the airport. Um, I pinned little things to them that said, if lost, call this number, and it had all our flight details and stuff on it. Thankfully though, we found her. Screens certainly make this flying thing a lot easier. That was like, nine or ten hours something like that of flying from Sydney to Bangkok but yeah it, it really did go quite well it was incredibly busy getting everyone through airport getting through all the checks because we had to you know fill out paperwork for six people so that was just really big and then it turned out there was a piece of paperwork that we needed to get into the country that we didn't have Thankfully, I had it on my emails. I, no one told me that I was going to need it to get into the country, but yeah, I connected to their Wi-Fi and got that, and so we got that sorted, but that took a little while, and the kids are, like, running around and going a bit crazy, and yeah, we're trying to, like, sort this stuff out with um, the Thai people, and but yeah, so it was kind of like stints of just sitting and having nothing to do and then stints of things just being crazy hectic running between places trying to get everyone organized so yeah a few um little interesting things along the way and then when we got to Bangkok Matt was like okay so where do we go from here and I'm like I don't know I'm like well let's just go through and we'll see what happens and yeah like we had no idea what we were doing we worked it out and the kids were really, really well behaved, so I was very impressed with that. 
Then from there we got our transport to our hotel quarantine, but we had to swing by the hospital first to do COVID tests. Here we are in Bangkok. We made it. Jessica has been up for a long time and she is very tired. It is like 10 o'clock Australian time and she's been up since 4.30. Are you excited? Plane trip fun? Yes. I changed my mind. I like this place. Oh, good. good. How are you doing? I am. To quote Ben, exhausted. <laughs> So we ended up finally all getting into our hotel rooms just after like 11 p.m. Australian time. So it was a very long day for everyone. It's 11.30, though it's only 7.30 Thai time. But Australian time, it's 11.30. We have been up since four o'clock. It's the end of a very long day but we're here in our hotel quarantine. And then, yeah, our flight to Konkan was um, very easy, very non-eventful. <coughs> we were at the airport in Bangkok for a little while, so just killing time there. And then it was just a short trip from the airport to uh, where we're staying, so Wolfgang and Diane picked us up. Here we are, finally in Konkan. Yes. Are you guys happy? Yes, and yeah. tired. And tired, yeah. Ooh, well, I want to play at all. Oh, good for you. Is that past the bedtime? I'm actually a bit tired. Yes. I'm actually maybe a bit tired. You're maybe a bit tired. Wow, well, you must be pretty tired to admit that. There's Daddy. We're just waiting to get picked up. And yeah, we just got back to their house and got the kids ready for bed. And that was the end of a very long couple of days of travel. <laughs> Went from Disney to Canberra to Sydney. Mm -hmm. And then we went to um, Bangkok somewhere, yeah, in somewhere in Thailand, and then we went to Konkan. And Kong then we Kien. stayed there two nights, yeah. and then we went to Konkan on another plane. 